previously on One Life to Live. It's Ben. Things are not going well at all for us. Just think twice before going and trying to find Rex. I came back. For what? For Bo. Alex isn't Jack's birth mother any more than Nellie is. Because Jack's real mother is Blair. Alex Todd paid you a fortune and you're meant to be out of town. You're certainly not meant to involve the police. Don't be silly. This has nothing to do with the police. When I said I came for Bo, I meant I came for Bo. What are you doing? You should be gone. Oh, I'm supposed to be with him in every possible way. Isn't that exciting? Be, be with, be, be with, be with him. Yes. It came to me when I was on the plane that Todd bringing me here, it was destiny. It meant that this is where I'm meant to be in my life, and Bo is the man I'm supposed to share. Hey, how are you today? Good, good. Okay, kid. If Ben's gonna catch me cheating and pull the plug on this marriage, then I gotta get a move on. Davidson. Hi, darling. Hey, just on my way to meet you. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, don't. Um, I'm... I'm I'm actually not at the palace anymore. Uh, or, I mean, I'm not there yet, because um, uh, I, I'm stuck at work. Things got so hectic and so crazy, and, and I'm running really late. Oh. Okay, well, I'll do a few more things here, and I'll meet you in an hour, okay? I'll see you. Well, no, no, Ben. Uh, ben. Thanks a lot. Well, Ben, don't be so angry, for heaven's sakes. I mean, I've been waiting for you, I'm, and I was so looking forward to having some time alone with you. Oh, please. Don't hang up like that. Can't we talk? Is Vicky okay? Whoa, I'm so sorry I didn't see you. Oh. Do you mind? No, uh, sit down. Looks like you could use a friend. Oh, Bo. I'm afraid I need so much more than a friend. Vicki, I know you were talking to Ben on the phone. I couldn't help but hear it. Yeah, I was practically begging it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You know, when I was at Landfair, you mentioned... Oh, Bo, please, you know what? That wasn't right. I should never have said anything to you about the problems that Ben and I are having. No, and no marriage is 100%. Well, I know that. It's if he has this anger, and it's quite frightening sometimes. With anger? Yes. Bo, I can't do this. I can't talk to him, to you about him. He's your brother. I, come on, he's my half-brother. We didn't even know that until last year. And we haven't really had a chance to get that close. So. Well, that's, that's true, isn't it? And you and I, we go back such a long way. You know something remarkable? You have always been there for me. I can't tell you what that has meant to me. Vicki, I'll always be there for you, okay? Anytime. Thanks so much. See, now, the problem is... He has this... this anger. It's like I'm seeing a whole other side of his personality. These flashes of temper. Has he hurt you? Hurt me? Oh, no. No, no, but I mean, it's so frightening because I never know when it's going to happen. It's like the man I married isn't even there anymore. One question, Bo. No, hey, Pa, you know, you're interrupting something. Did you finally see Gabrielle for what she really is and kick her damn butt out of your house? Yes or no? So, where is Bo? He's not here. Alex, this idea of you sharing your life with Bo, it's upset. Why? He's obviously not sharing anything else with a woman except his apartment, of course. No, Bo and I belong together. The, well, when did you come to this realization? Oh, I had an insight. Oh, I see. An insight, did you? Yes, a voice told me, a clear, melodious voice. And that voice said unto you, trade in your ticket for a $400 voucher because the flight is overbooked. No, that was on the PA. This was a different voice. You know what they say when one starts hearing voices, don't you, Alex? 
Well, all I know is that Bo can love me for who I am, with all my faults. And I admit I do have some. Strong, patient, smart, decent. Wonderful, dear, dear Bo. You don't let a man like that slip away. Hey, Paul, maybe we can talk about this later. You know, it's just a simple little question. Is that skinny little scorpion still living at your place or not? Asa, I think your table is that away. In a minute, Renee. I'm trying to find out if Gabrielle is still pulling the wool over my son's eyes. Look, nobody's pulling the wool over... <laughs> Vicki, would you excuse me, okay? Yes, I think I'm gonna have to right. deal with this. Sure. Thank you, Renee. Right this way. Your table's waiting. 